You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent. So the last place we left off, it looks like the uh, the Ma Max was going into another match with a new with another contestant. And uh, oh boy, I still think something's about to go wrong in this tournament. I really, really think so. I'm very sus about Toby. Toby is pretty sus. But anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy. Me you for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> You let out a massive sigh before returning to your seat. Toby was already nowhere to be seen. You sat down and quietly spectated the event until the end. Oh. Whew! It's finally over! You left the arena into the cold night. You just couldn't enjoy the event at all, not after what Toby said to you. Cassian! Hmm? Oh, hi Max. Good work back then. You beat them all, huh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I guess there's no defeating me, huh? At this rate, I'll, I'll meet Rai at the semi-final tomorrow. Oh, Rai's playing too? Hmm? You didn't see him? He was fighting his shark friend. It was quite intense, if I do say so myself. Ah, maybe I missed it. M my mind is not in the best place right now. Are you feeling sick? Do you need me to... N no, it's okay, I just... Max, I need to ask you something. Oh, right. What is it, Cassian? Is it true that you're close to me only out of pity? Or rather because Alyssa told you to be nice to me? Huh? Who told you that? Toby? Yeah, he said that you're just putting up a front when you're socializing with the citizens. He said that no new person can befriend you that fast, like it took a lot of effort at all. That's why he thought it, that it's strange that you're so nice to me. And when I think about it, you did suddenly become nicer to me when... When Alyssa talked to me that night, huh? Wait, so you knew I was there? Huh, <sighs> well, I guess I didn't really... I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Cassian. Well, is it true, Max? Is what Toby said true at all? Uh, I really don't want to believe him, but I really have my doubts now. Please, I need to know, Max. It's... A loud crackling noise followed by a fizzle echoed across the horizon. The night sky seemed to glow and shimmer, but as the gentle hum from the barrier became louder and louder... Oh, shit! A small yet sizable tear formed upon the sky. Wait, is that the M Max? Oh fuck! You shuddered as a loud thud followed the crackling in the sky. Max seemed to have stumbled a little as he dashed towards the direction of the guardian crystal without a word. You could vaguely see black smoke coming from the base of the crystal. Max! You shouted to him. I'm sorry, Cassie. You better get yourself back to the guild. Let's talk about this later, okay? Max, wait! You screamed from the top of your lungs, even louder than the thundering sounds above your head, but Max had already disappeared into the darkness. Panic arose as people began to pack their things and aimlessly run for their lives. Several mercenaries on the scene were already trying to keep the masses calm while guiding them into the guild building. What, what, what should I do? You were seemingly frozen in place when another familiar face ran towards you. Cassian! What happened? Oh, oh Ashford! I, I don't know! I was with Max when things suddenly gone crazy! Where is he now? I don't know, he just ran towards there without saying much. He pointed towards the Guardian Crystal from afar. Alone? That is quite reckless of him. I will tell the Guild to send someone to help him. He might be in grave danger. You stay here, Cassie, and don't try to be a hero, okay? W what Will he be alright? I don't know. Stay here, don't go anywhere. I'll let someone from the Guild know. Oh no, Max! Max! Despite what Ashford had you just instructed, you still ran straight for the crystal, trying to force yourself through the waves and torrents of people fumbling their ways towards safety. I'm supposed to be a hero, right? How can I be one if I just sit here and do nothing? And Max could be in danger, too! You gritted your teeth and gradually waded through the sea of people. Eventually, you made your way to the ba your way to the park. You took a turn into the nearby alleyway to cut, to cut across the town for a direct path. But the further you headed in, the darker it got, and somehow you felt like you shouldn't have come here. Splurt, squish, squish, glorp. Help! You were turning back as the town fell silent. There was a strange noise close by. You took a peek around the corner. The alley was nearly pitch black by then. The only thing you could make out under the dim moonlight was a rather big figure towering over someone else. Maybe that other person is getting robbed. You could stop and help them, but you have a bad feeling about this. You really should turn back and find another way to reach Max. As you stepped away, the ground shook as the fissure upon the sky turned into a rift. The sky flashed and shimmered, illuminating the entire alleyway for the moment. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Well, hello there. Oh my lord. I I can't feel my face. H help. Blah. Jeez. Ooh, that's fucked. The ill-fated person whimpered as caustic goo enveloped their entire body. Their eyeball fell out of their half-molten skull. What's left of their face twisted and contorted from fear and utter pain. What in the world? You couldn't bear to watch any longer. The stench was so unbearable you could throw up any moment. A loud splat made you tremble as you realized whatever that thing was had eyes, and it was watching you very intently from the start. Gah! All you could see amidst the darkness was a large, sinister smile. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Who oh, what have we here? You could feel the figure's lifeless eyes staring into your soul. The creature slowly shuffled towards you as you scrambled around, looking for any sort of weapon to defend yourself. But back off! H help! You tried to call out for help. Your voice helplessly drowned out in the clamor. Yeah. The crowd fled towards the guild's main building, or worse still. You witnessed the poor victim dissolved within the creature, their skin and flesh stripped from the bone, leaving naught behind but their faintly beating heart. He's still alive? What, what kind of monster is this? Not enough. Need more host! To shit! I'd better do something! I have to tell Max about this! Before you could lift your feet, tentacles of goo lurched toward, towards you. What? Ah! The tentacles wrapped around your forearm and ankles. Struggling against its pull, your feet began to skid across the ground as you got dragged towards its body. You trembled as its slimy body began to envelop you, caressing your back and chest. It began to pull you deeper into itself, several tendrils slipping under your clothes, slowly pulling it apart. N no! Ugh! Resist. Help! Max! Help! You struggled as you tried to pry yourself free from the slime, despite your efforts to continue to pull you further in. Help! Help! Several goo tentacles forced their way into your mouth and started pumping liquid slime down your throat. You gargled goo as you desperately cried, trying to claw your way out, the gelatinous body already working its way up your back to the base of your neck. Hmm. It wasn't long before your entire body was submerged, leaving only your head exposed. Before that, too, began to be pulled down. C Cassian! Suddenly, several ice shards flew past you, striking the creature as half of it was frozen solid. <laughs> The creature retreated away from the ice. Losing its grip on you as you felt your body crashing against the ground. From the corner of your eyes, you saw Max rushing to your side, helping you back on your feet. Jeez. Are you okay, Cassian? Y yeah I'm okay, thank you, Max. This is bad. It's another creature, most likely sent in by the king. But what should we do? You heard the sizzling noise as the ice thawed and the creature began to reform. The person, or rather what remained of them, rapidly disintegrated in place of the creature's missing mass. Host! Need host! Uh-oh. Max quickly pulled out a device and pressed a button on the side of it. I've called for help. In the meantime, we have to hold this creature here. Are you ready, Cassian? Yeah, well, let's do this! All right, remember your training. Ah, yes. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my God. What will you do? Uh, guard. Uh, what is that? Item? What is that? Fuck. Um, physical attacks are probably not the best. Um, it's just going to reform, so let's see. Uh, no, I don't want to get anywhere near that thing. Let's see. Um, hmm. Who's on who? What is this? attack, right? Slime Beast. Max took a defensive stance. Dave? Dave? Who's Dave? Dave slashes at Slime Beast with their claws. Slime Beast takes it. Who the fuck is Dave? Oh! Him. Slime Beast took a defensive stance. Slime Beast is guarding. What will you do? Let's see. Uh... Slime Beast is guarding, so... Hmm. Let's, let's try this again. Okay. Max focuses on enemy weak points. Max focuses on, uh, 
Focus, focused applied to Slime Beast. Dave uses tackle. Slime Beast takes two damage. Slime Beast slammed against Dave. Oh shit. Slime Beast, uh, Dave takes two damage. Um. Should guard. Max took a defensive stance. Dave took a defensive stance. Slime Beast took a defensive stance. Focus is in effect. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Max imbues their weapon with ice. Slime Beast takes three damage. Dave unleashes a flurry of blows. Slime Beast wobbled out of the way and the attack missed. Slime Beast releases a fury of blows. Dave dodged at the last second. Slime Beast returns to normal. Okay. Um. He's returning to normal, so. Let's guard. Max attacks Slime Beast with their conjured ice blades. Slime Beast takes four damage. Dave took a defensive stance. Slime Beast slammed against Dave. Dave takes two damage. Shit! Ah, I've got one health! Uh. Oh lord, we're not doing so good. Ah, oh, just a little bit. A little bit more! Max focuses on enemy weak points. Slime Beast. Focus to apply to Slime Beast. Dave slashes the Slime Beast with her claws. What about out of the way, you. What? God, now you mm. heal me, Max. Heal the did Max heal heal. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh no. Things to play the slime beast. A slime beast. Dave uses tackle. Slime beast dodges the last second. Up, oh, I'm dead. Dave collapsed from their injuries. Cassian couldn't go on. Game. Game. Oh my god. The creature launched Max out of the alley, knocking him unconscious. Max! The creature grabbed you by the feet and started dragging you towards it again. But no! Please! No! Help! The creature brought you closer towards its face. Oh god! Nope, nope, nope. Nope. This video has to go up today, and I don't have time for this shit, so... Uh, damn, okay, uh, let's load there. Oh, no! Fuck! Okay, um, let's see, auto save. there we go. Resist, okay. Okay! Alright. Pause it right here for a brief moment, everyone. Yeah, uh, I'm not doing the getting fucked by a slime beast option. I, this video has to go up today. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Max took defensive stance. Use our weapon with ice. Slime beast takes three damage. Okay, that's okay. Defensive stance. Um. Okay, that's the case. Then let's use tackle. Tackle. Dodge the last second. Max took defensive stance. Alright, he blows. Dave dodged in the nick of time. Okay. Uh. Okay. Cassian unleashes a fury of blows. Slime Beast takes two damage. Max swings the blade of the next Slime Beast. Dodges at the last second. Slime Beast unleashes a fury of blows. Max sidestep from the attack. Okay. Um. Let's do. Skill. There. Dave uses tackle. Slime Beast takes two damage. Max rolls sharp icicles towards the Slime Beast. Wall but out of the way. God, its evasion is really high. I'm gonna guess Dave. Dave dodged in the nick of time. Okay. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Okay. It blows. Next swing away. Slime Beast takes four damage. Nice. Slime Beast was frozen solid! What? Dave dodged. Okay. Awesome. Let's hammer this thing. Three blows. Yes! Yes! Beast collapsed from their injuries. Alright! Yes! Nice! Okay, it was a terrible experience. <laughs> the game was like, oh shit. Alright, let me save it right here. Oh my goodness. Like, oh my goodness, that was fucked up. <laughs> the creature roared as your last attack struck it. Hey, over here, they're over here! Are you guys alright? Just hang tight, we got you! It would seem you've stalled it long enough for the others to arrive. Yeah, we're okay. Thank God you guys made it. Watch out! A goo tentacle lashed forward. It was short of dealing a lethal strike towards you when it somehow froze in place. You could see a couple metal spheres inside the creature. I got it! Nice work, Cody! Okay. 
Cody slammed his fists into the ground, sprouting stone slabs to create a wall around the creature. The attack was quickly followed up by Max conjuring several more shards of ice, hurling them towards the creature. The creature writhed and roared as the ice shattered, completely encasing it in frost. Now! Cody, cl Cody clapped his hands in front of himself. The elevated slates quickly closed inwards, crushing the frozen creature and shattering it into pieces. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you still got it. Nicely done. <laughs> Thank thanks, Rye. Phew, is it over? I should hope so. Wait, there's something coming out from there. As soon as Max pointed out, you could spot a small slug-like creature emerging amidst the rubble. It crawled away, albeit at a snail's pace, before stopping in its tracks entirely as Ray shot a fireball in front of it. Huh, I'll be. This was the thing that tried to kill us just now? Fascinating, Alex muttered as everyone gathered around the crystal slug. What kind of nether creature is it, Alex? I'm not sure. It looks like an amorphous malforma, but there's a lot of nether crystals protruding from its back. How could such a tiny thing slip through our perimeter? The Guardian Crystal malfunctioned somehow. You all saw the cracks in the sky, right? It must have slipped in through the fissures on the ground, too. That does add up to the recent incidents. Bri, what's the status on the GC? Hmm, I can sense an energy surge. The GC is recharging its own shield, but still very slowly. Finally, some good news amidst the chaos. We should still go check on it, just in case, though. Yeah, we should. But what should we do with this thing, then? Max pointed towards the cowering slug creature. We could take it back for further studying. God knows if the nether research field needed more precious specimens such as these. I don't know. Seems dangerous keeping such things inside the city walls. Despite winning this fight, we still don't know what it's actually capable of. Might as well incinerate it into ashes. I get that, but Alex is right. We might get more insight into the nether realm and its creatures. Could be valuable to figure out if their hive mind thingamajig is a thing or not. <laughs> what? And what? How more of those things inside the city? I don't know, Rai. I'm with Max on this one. It just doesn't seem like a risk worth taking. Alright, what do you think, Cassian? Should we keep it or should we destroy it? I'd say destroy it. Yeah, um... Guys, let me know if I'm making a very bad, dumb decision. I say keep it. Well, what if Alex and Ray say he's true? We could gain... Okay, never mind. So, it doesn't matter. I'm going with... Ca I'm going with... Um, I'm going with Max on this one, since I'm doing Max's path. Destroy it. I just saw that thing engulf someone, then digested them, and it almost did the exact same thing to me. I don't think it's safe to let this thing inside the city walls. For all we know, it could be we could be bringing in a ticking time bomb. I agree. We couldn't risk it escaping secure containment for SCP <laughs> and killing even more people. Well, Alex. Uh, fine. Burn it for all I care. It's not like the council would have authorized such a specimen in the first place. Well, then it's decided. Right? Can you do the honor? Of course. I can. of course I can. Watch. Ray opened his mouth and spewed a gout of flames towards the creature. The creature writhed as its surface started to bubble away. You could only hear sizzling amidst the bright flame as the creature disintegrated into nothing while the crystals on its back remained. There. Done. It's well done, alright? More like, congratulations. <laughs> hmm? Something wrong? No, it's nothing. <laughs> I'll be taking this, then. Alex opened his pouch and grabbed the crystal with his metal tweezers, carefully placing it inside. Better than nothing, one should say. Well, now that that's settled, let's go check out the crystal. Cassie, you good to go? Hmm? Sure. Hmm, <laughs> let's go, Ka. What? Y you suddenly felt lightheaded. Y Ka? Y what? Y what? Cass Cassian! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God, poor Cassian. What's happening to little Cass? Oh, God. You found yourself walking along the seemingly endless stone corridor. It was this familiar place once again. This place. You walked for what felt like hours down the corridor. You glanced over your shoulder once in a while. You couldn't shake the feeling that you're being watched by someone or something. Usually something chased you down this corridor, but this time was different. Eventually, you arrived at the end of the corridor where a large doorway waited you. This is new. I have never made it this far. You pushed the door open and found yourself inside a pitch-black room. You heard a loud slam as the door closed in on its own, trapping you inside. H hey! 
He felt where the door was to find the knob to no avail. All that was left was a smooth wall. Sh shit H hello Finally, you come. H who's there? You attempt to look in the direction of the voice, losing it in the darkness. No. Oh. How rude. You haven't even introduced yourself. W well, I'm... Cassian, correct? H how did you know? Oh, I know, Cassian. I know how much of a good dog you are. Linus told me plenty. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Oh boy, this was a spicy episode. Had some spicy choices in it, too. <laughs> oh, more. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Oof. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!